Hi guys. It is uh, Sunday, July 4th, 2021. It is 10 o'clock in the morning. Well, 10.15 to be exact. I'm making my second cup of coffee. So I moved, um, I moved the van up a little bit. The people that were in front of me, they left. So I moved up, but last night was such an incredible sleep. Oh, it was the perfect temperature. It was 19 degrees in the van. Um, I could hear the waves singing me a lullaby all night long. The birds this morning, but uh, yeah, look. There's already a fisherman out there on the water. But yeah, I think I'm just going to be hanging around here for the rest of the day. I'm probably going to stay here again tonight. Like I said, I have an uh, appointment tomorrow at 11. So I just need to hook up somewhere with uh, internet. And uh, because I do my meetings, my, um, my sessions on Zoom. A lot of times I have to FaceTime because my Zoom doesn't have enough power, internet power. So, <clears throat> but anyways, yeah. This is uh, exactly what I wanted. There's a lot of people here. Even though I'm not alone, I feel alone. Everybody's keeping to themselves. Everybody's really quiet and respectful. I mean, everybody had their doors closed and inside their um, vehicles by like 10 o'clock last night. It, I, I was the first one that shut my doors and I, uh, I just sat at the front there. I just sit in my um, front living room there and I've got the best seats, the best seat in the house. It's so relaxing just sitting here in the front seat. Um, there's nothing in the front on the floor right now, so I can stretch out my legs. It's so relaxing just sitting up here, listening to the water. Yeah. I lost all my feathers that I collected at Davion Park. I have no idea where they went last night. I was going to try making... Um, my braided hippie headbands with the feathers and um, well first of all it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be I'm going to need a little bit of uh, YouTube tutorials <laughs> and uh, yeah I also lost my feathers so that's going to have to be a project put on hold I also want to pick up some paint for my rocks start painting my rocks as a hobby and uh, leaving them randomly anywhere where people can find little messages of peace, love, and light. Happiness, too. And in the meantime, I have fun doing it. And just, um, yeah, like I said, that place in BC, uh, the um, secret campsite with the painted rocks, that really inspired me because I loved it. So that's what I want to do now is paint rocks. And relax. <laughs> There was a couple of people um, last night when I was filming the boat, they were pulling, I mean, putting up their tent. So they just slept here for the night and uh, they packed up their tent just right in front of me right there. And uh, I think they're going to be heading out already. This was all full before. Hi, buddy. Hello. It just feels so relaxing having my morning coffee by the water. I can hear the water. It's a nice cool breeze. I'm sitting in the shade. But more importantly, I can hear my own thoughts. When I'm in the city or around people, I just I can't hear any of that. It just seems very chaotic to me because I'm a people pleaser so when I'm around people or even in a city I just pick up other people's energies very very quickly and when I pick up energy I just have no room for my own thoughts because I'm picking up other people's thoughts as crazy as that might sound to most people but that's the way it is for me right now and um, the more videos I'll make the more hopefully you'll get to understand me but uh, yeah just being by myself is very healing right now this is definitely what I need to be doing even though most people don't understand it but when you love your own company you're never in bad company
Ah, oh, this is beautiful. I'll definitely be coming back in the middle of the week in hopes that there's less people. Um, that's definitely what I have planned. So after my appointment on Monday, I might return back here. I'll see. I have to figure out some place to uh, take a shower. I would like to wash my hair. There's something about showering and cleaning up outdoors that makes me feel so rejuvenated. I love it. So, and it's just also when you're, when you have to think about survival on a constant basis, like, you know, where will I get my water? Where will I shower? Where will I sleep safely? And, you know, where will I go? Um, you know, all these things are just keeps you occupied and busy because you're always thinking about your basic needs being met. Life doesn't happen by chance. Life, life happens by choice. And so if you're just spending your days looking at social media, you know, um, it's just, there's no time for creativity. And in order to live a lively life, you have to do it on a conscious level. As long as you're in sitting in front of a computer watching other people live their fake lives, because that's what it is. It's all fake. It's all staged. <sighs> sad really really sad especially the younger generations and that's all they know is you know an iPhone an iPad so disconnected from themselves from nature and it's only gonna get worse so I just don't want anything to do with any of that anymore like I said I'm disconnected from social media it's been well over two months now and I can feel the benefits of it there's so many things that I do differently because I'm not on social media like when I was living in my condo as to post living in my van you know everything my whole life was just on you know going up and down the walls on Facebook or just seeing what other people were doing while I you know merely tried to exist but now all that behind me Wow I wouldn't change this for nothing. I am so grateful that I sold my condo and um, just, I didn't know that I was gonna be living in a van at the time I sold my condo. All I knew is that I wanted to get out of concrete jungle. I wanted to, um, I didn't like living in the condo. It would it actually cost me more depression than anything. But, uh, yeah, I've never been happier right now in this rusted old tin can of mine that I call the dream machine. I'm very grateful. Very, very grateful. And I know it's not going to be like this forever. I mean, but now I, I honestly have no complaints. I wouldn't change anything. All of my life experiences up until this point, um, on hindsight, it's now just a life lesson. Listen, do you hear that? Exactly. It's so peaceful. The last time I was here, about two months ago, I met my friend, Mr. Grandma.
Philippines. Doesn't this look like poison ivy or poison oak or maybe even poison sumac? I'm, I'm not going to touch it to find out. But yeah, it's just right that close to me. Look how beautiful that looks across the water and the sailboats that are out today. Somebody else obviously um, thinks across the water is beautiful as well. See that? He's getting a couple of good shots. Again. Yum, yum. Bon appétit! As you can tell by my face, it's such a beautiful sunset. It's been so serene and peaceful and relaxing and I can go on and on. <sighs> on that note guys, I'm going to leave you with some peace, love and light from my heart to yours. See you next video.